Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dana Hopper Realtors. Well, once again, at the beautiful Texas Hill Country community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. I was just videoing a house that my client's getting built, and I saw that this one is on the market. Turns out something happened that with the person this house was getting built for, so that deal have fell through, but it just came on the market as of today, and there's already been quite a bit of interest in it. This is the Hunter Plan by uh, Chessmar Homes. 28, 24 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, two car garage. And I've been wanting to see one of these Hunter plans just so I can give my buddy that's a sales rep for Chessmar, Hunter Weekly. He's in uh, Harvest Hills community in the Church, Texas area, wonderful community. But yeah, he's one of my favorite Chessmar sales reps. And when I saw they named a plan after him, yeah, I gave him some crap about it. But I've been wanting to check it out. So here we go. Let's go check it out. Yeah, old Mr. Hunter Weekly can't even build this house in his community because Harvest Hills only does single-story homes. So, yeah, I'm excited to see this house uh, put online. But, yeah, Esperanza and Bernie, this community is literally an eight-minute drive from the front of this community to downtown Bernie, Texas. And if you haven't seen the historical Texas Hill Country town of Bernie, you've got to check it out. Some of the best school districts in the state. Um, this community does have a uh, really nice amenities to include like a lazy river, luxury pool, gym, has a, th last year they built in a beautiful dog park. All of it, I've done an amenities tour of this community. So yeah, go check that out on my site. But yeah, this house is beautiful. I really like the design of it. And yeah, let's head on in. This door is absolutely beautiful, very modern. And I was using this chance to remind people, hit that like button. It does help my algorithm. But yeah, let's check out this Hunter plan by Chessmar Homes. Looks like it's got real wood floor. It's tough to tell sometimes what's the difference between luxury vinyl plank and real wood. But yeah, this is a beautiful home design. <clears throat> Coming right in, you do have the laundry room right up front. Nothing special about the laundry room. Eight foot doors throughout. You do have a full, this, the toilet's not gonna be there forever. They're waiting to put it in right here. But this is, it has a full shower. This house is getting close to being completed, but obviously they still have more work to do. But hey, by the time you get this house under contract, it's gonna take a month to close, this house will be done. So uh, yeah, if you're not wanting to get a house built and this big four bedroom house fits your needs, Oh, price-wise, um, after the builder's incentives, they're asking $630 for this house. So, yeah, it's a beautiful home. That's just a coat closet. No need to look into there. But there are some nice upgrades in this house, including these beams. Absolutely beautiful. That is a nice upgrade. they got a gorgeous linear fireplace on the wall there, leaving plenty of room for your TV to be right up top. Lots of windows. Uh, Chessmar Homes does use the zip system, so this can be a very sturdy, well-built house. Every Chessmar home I've done, where they had the inspector come in and look at it, they're like, wow, this is a really well-built home. Uh, just another, like, vacuum closet. Going to have your microwave. This is going to be the upgraded stuff by Profile. And, well, Profile is an upgrade from GE. They got a regular GE oven down, but it's a nice microwave love a very clean look with these shaker cabinets beautifully done this is a gas community so there's your gas five burner cooktop more work to do still <clears throat> but we are going to have a big single basin sink no 50 50 sinks because uh you know my rule if it can't put a skillet in there it's pointless and this is going to be your dining room slash breakfast nook space even got a little extended space there. So yeah, if you want to have big family gatherings, you're going to have plenty of room here. <clears throat> oh, I wow. just realized they've got uh, blinds in here. Blinds are usually a surprisingly expensive upgrade to a house, but because this house was already built for somebody else, uh, yeah, you can get some nice features. But yeah, let's go check out the backyard. I actually haven't stepped out here yet. Um, this is on the same road where my client's getting a Brandon plan built. 
But uh, yeah, this is gonna be, this is a really good size yard. Nobody's gonna be behind you. You do have a road, but we are in the back part of the community. So you're not gonna have like a lot of traffic on here. Only the people going to the very, very back part of the community. Let's see if I can raise this up a little bit so you can see a little more out there. There's that road we're talking about. Or we can just look at the view a little more once we get upstairs. Because yes, there's an upstairs to this house. But yeah, beautifully done ceiling. The sun sets on the front of the house. So as I'm filming this, it is 4.35. That shade is gonna keep gradually creeping further and further out, making the hot Texas summers a lot more easy to enjoy on your back porch during happy hour time. Now, when I was initially walking this house, I knew it was a two story, but it was taking me a little bit to find where the heck are the staircases, but they're tucked away back here, which I really like compared to stairs being right in the middle of the house, just taking up a lot of your square footage. I just realized I haven't shown the pantry yet, but I will. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget. All right, come once you get to the top of the stairs, you have a nice little closet, a really good sized closet, especially if you're using the upstairs as a game room. Put all your board games up here. This might be locked, nope. This is what's gonna be known as the Texas basement. So all your heating and air are gonna be up here. But it's a little extra storage space for your Christmas decorations if you need to but it's hot in there right now. But not that bad. All right. Here's a look out from the second story. See just what this area looks like. Beautiful. We are kind of a higher part of the uh, Esperanza community. Here's your extra bonus space. This could be your game room. If you had uh, those kiddos that can't get out of the house, they can live up here and this could be their bedroom. Interest rates are getting hard. I feel kind of bad for like the younger generation trying to find their first home. Man, things are expensive. <coughs> Pardon me. So having these larger houses where your 20 something year old can still stay at home, have their independence, but still going to do trade school or college or whatever they're doing, they can still stay at home, but I'd charge them rent. This is a really cool spot for if you're trying to do homework or shoot, set a couple of video game uh, computers up here. If you're having a, like a LAN party or something, that'd be kind of cool too. All right. This is a beautifully done bathroom. The dual vanity, shower tub combination, and the toilet will come eventually. And typically when you have a two-story house, you might have the eight foot doors below, but you're not gonna have eight foot doors up top. It's just very few two second stories have that. But you do have another full bedroom up top here. Plenty of space in here and a big closet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a really, I think that's bigger than the closet that I have. All right, and then the other bedroom up here. So you got two extra bedrooms and all that space upstairs. Really nice use of space. Now they are still doing construction phase. This was the woods not long ago. So let's see if I can do something that freaks people out a little bit. This what's called a daddy long legs. They're completely and utterly harmless. Uh, I don't think they're actually considered spiders because they only have uh, like six legs. I'm trying to count them there. I don't know. But yeah, they are completely harmless. So no need to freak out about them. All right, let's head on back downstairs after some people are probably going, oh my gosh, there's daddy long legs in Texas. Yeah, we have them but they're not that prevalent. I haven't seen one of those in a very long time, so I thought I might as well put it on camera. 
But lots of light in here. Love this house. All right, as promised, uh, we're not gonna forget the pantry. Because, yeah, check out this pantry. Because they put it under the staircase, you're gonna have an extra large pantry. Check it out. You can build more shelves back here and just keep that pantry going if you wanted to. Very nice use of space. One last look around at this beautiful home. Like I said, this house just came on the market as of today because life happened to the person this house was getting built for and they had to let it go. And after incentives, you're looking at 6.30 to get into this beautiful community in Bernie, Texas. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of the Hunter Plan built by Chessmar in the beautiful community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Of course, I want you to hit the like button and share these videos with your friends and family. I am a local real estate agent. I do these videos to both help my client and grow my business because uh, I firmly believe that putting these videos out there gives more information to the buyers and gives you the opportunity to look at it over and over again versus uh, just looking at those pictures on MLS. So yeah, if you're looking for a real estate agent that does do these, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to assist because you know what? It costs you absolutely nothing to use a real estate agent to purchase a house like this. All right, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.